Which of you here can swear that he died of his own accord? Which of us are you accusing of regicide, Lord Beesbury? Whether it was one of you or all of you, I care not. I will have no Sit part down! of you. Throw down your sword and remove your cloak, Sir Criston. I am your Lord Commander, Sir Criston. Cast down your sword. I will not suffer insults to her grace, the Queen. There was no insult to me, Sir Criston. You put aside your blade. As it come to this, Lord Commander, enough. Let us have Lord Beesbury removed. No. The door remains shut until we finish our business. Storm's End is of concern. We may not assume the loyalty of Lord Boris, but he has four daughters, all of them unmarried. The right proposal... What of Rhaenyra? The former heir cannot, of course, be allowed to remain free and draw support to her claim. You mean to imprison her? She and her family will be given the opportunity to publicly swear obeisance to the new king. She will never bend the knee. Nor will Damon, which you know. You plan to kill them? And all here accede to this? Your father is correct, Your Grace. A living challenger invites battle and bloodshed. It is unsavory, yes. But a sacrifice we must make to secure Aegon's succession. And then there is Daemon to consider. The king wouldn't wish for any but unsavory... But the king did not wish for the murder of his daughter! He loved her, I will not have you deny this. And yet... One more word and I will have you removed from this chamber and sent to the wall. What do you suggest, Your Grace? Time is of the essence. Lord Commander Westerling, take your knights the Dragonstone. Be quick and be clean. I am Lord Commander of the King's Guard. I recognize no authority but the King's. And until there is one, I have no place here. It is our fate, I think, to crave always what is given to another. <laughs> 